Welcome to this tutorial video. Today we're talking about Ableton Live MIDI channels and uh, the use of multiple MIDI channels to control the notes, the MIDI notes being sent and the MIDI envelopes being sent separately. Okay, so we're going to start by throwing in a MIDI instrument. This is massive. I'm going to pull up a sound that is already created. is on channel 7 uh, and this, this is a wobble base that I just set up some of the parameters to I can do a separate video for this if you need me to but the next thing I'm going to do hit this delta key and activate the configure mode and touch any of the parameters that I want to modify okay all 8 or whatever just doing the one here cut off and making a mini envelope in this channel I set the quantization to none I make the trigger legato and I leave loop on now this is the node mode if you press this button then it becomes no note mode and if you press this button envelope comes up you can leave notes up too but it gets confusing and it changes based on which of these boxes you have selected. Anyway, Ableton will pull up the envelope of the last knob that you touched on that channel. So here we are. You see Massive is selected and Cutoff is selected. I draw in my envelope. I'll show you a couple of tricks. One, if you double click the line, you can create a spot. You can also create spots by highlighting the whole area, grabbing the bar, pulling it up, and then sometimes I'll erase one of them. Sometimes I will duplicate or control D that. So let's hear how this sounds. show you now that as this is running when you go back to the box you'll see this little red dot is jumping around that's literally the parameter running if you stop the MIDI clip the, the ball may end up not at 100 so it's important to have a clip that's set to 100 that you can run uh, it's also best to duplicate your clips as you're doing this instead of making new ones so you don't have to reset up all this other stuff. But so this is no wobble and 100% filter. I could also make one that's no wobble and 20% filter or 40% filter. Okay, so I leave the main channel for envelope clips, um, and you can you know there's an envelope clip being used because the little red dot then appears. You see this one's not edited. You can do multiple ones on a single channel too, but I normally just do one per clip. Multiple envelopes on a single clip, I mean. So make a new mini channel. <coughs> and call this one notes or whatever and then send the output this is where you have to do a little bit of the IO configuration you send the output to massive I'm going to go ahead and set this input to my instrument and turn monitor on okay and at this point I'm going to disarm that one and arm this one and send those through okay Now at this point, everything still works the same, except I can write notes in and perform notes into this channel and it'll record them. And with the 
notes on this channel, the MIDI clips, the envelope clips can still be played. What I would generally do then is, in the MIDI assign mode, pick a pad or two. And because I have the quantization to none, they'll change as soon as I hit these pads. I won't wait for one, so... together. Okay. 